In this video, you will learn to add, subtract, multiply, and divide with imperial and metric measurements. So basically what we're doing in this lesson is we are taking what we've already learned in the previous lessons, and we are now performing operations with them. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with each of these operations, and we're going to show you one example of imperial measurements, and then one example with metric measurements. So there's gonna be eight examples in total. So beginning with addition, and we will begin with imperial measurements. Our first example, we want to add five foot nine inches plus eight foot four inches. Now when you're adding, it doesn't matter what the, the units we're using, we want to add the similar units. So for example, here we see five feet and eight feet. So when you're adding, 5 feet plus 8 feet, that gives you 13 feet. And then you can add the 9 inches and 4 inches together because those are similar units. So 9 inches plus 14 inch, or 4 inches would give you 13 inches. So we have 13 feet, 13 inches, but you always want to simplify your answer. So here 13 inches is more than a foot, right? There's 12 inches in a foot. So what this is would be you know, 12 inches plus 1 inch so we have one foot plus one inch. All right, so what we have is 13 feet plus one foot one inch. So 13 feet plus one foot gives you 14 feet. So your final simplified answer would be 14 feet one inch. So that was our first example, and that was dealing with imperial measurements. So next we're gonna work with metric measurements. So our example is we're trying to add five kilometers with 1800 meters. Now here, before we start adding, we wanna make sure that we convert one unit into the other type of unit. So there's actually two ways to do this. We could either convert kilometers into meters or co uh, convert the meters into kilometers. So we'll show you both ways. And so first we'll start with converting meters right here into kilometers. Now there's 1,000 meters in one kilometer, and you're going from smaller to larger units, which means we divide by 1,000. So our decimal point would move over from here three places, one, two, three, and that would give you 1.8 kilometers. So converting to kilometers, we now have five plus 1.8 kilometers, and that would give you 6.8 kilometers. Now the other way would be converting this five kilometers into meters. So one kilometer has 1,000 meters, so five kilometers would be five times 1,000, or 5,000 meters. So we have 5,000 meters plus 1,800 meters, and that would give you 6,800 meters. So either way, we get the same final answer, uh, just in different units, different ways of expressing the same thing. So it does not matter which way we, we do this, unless the instructions specify one versus the other. So this is with addition. Next we're gonna work with subtraction. And with subtraction, we'll do an example with imperial measurements and then an example with metric measurements. So imperial measurements, we're gonna start with eight quarts minus three quarts, one pint. Now with subtraction, all right, same kind of thing where we need to subtract the like units. So like eight quarts minus three quarts, uh, we can subtract those and then pints with pints. So the only problem here is when you subtract the pints, we have zero pints minus one pint. So that really doesn't work right off the bat. So what we need to do is convert one of these quarts into pints. So we can think of this as seven quarts plus one quart, right, that's eight quarts. Well, one quart is two pints. So you can think of that as seven quarts, two pints, then minus three quarts, one pint. So now we have uh, units that are the same for both. All right, so we can subtract the quarts, seven minus three to get four quarts, and then we can subtract the pints. Two pints minus one pint would give you one pint. All right, so we have four quarts, one pint. And we see that all typed up right here. And next we're gonna do an example with metric measurements. 
So our example that we're gonna look at is 12 kilograms minus 4,200 grams. So just like with addition, we need to convert one unit into the other type. So we could either convert both to kilograms or both to grams. So we're gonna show you both ways. That way you can use either if you want. All right, so if we convert grams to kilograms, so convert 4,200 right here, convert that into kilograms, we have to divide by 1,000 because there's 1,000 grams in a kilogram going from smaller to larger units, so we divide by 1,000. So our decimal point moves over three places, and it gives you 4.2 kilograms. So when you subtract 12 minus 4.2, okay, if you can't do this in your head, you can write this out. So you have 12.0 minus 4.2. Um, so you want to borrow from the 12, make that an 11. So we can uh, take the one we borrowed and put it over here. So we have 10 minus 2 to get 8. And then 11 minus 4 is 7. So your answer is 7.8 kilograms. Now the other way of doing this would be to convert kilograms into grams. So again, there's 1,000 grams in a kilogram and we're going from larger to smaller units, from kilograms to grams, so you multiply. So you take 12 times 1,000, which gives you 12,000. So what we have is 12,000 grams minus 4,200 grams. So again, with this one, you would subtract, and you can write it out up here if you want. So when you subtract, we have zero minus zero, zero minus zero. We need to borrow from the two, that becomes a one, and the one we borrow goes right here. So 10 minus two is eight. And we have 11 minus 4 to get 7. So we would have 7,800 grams. So well, our two answers, they're the same thing, just with different units. So we could convert kilograms to grams, and we'd find that 7.8 kilograms would equal 7,800 grams. Next, we're going to work with multiplying with both imperial and metric measurements. So our example for imperial measurements, we have four cups, five fluid ounces, times two. So when you're multiplying, you would multiply both units by two. So it would take four cups times two to get eight cups, and then five fluid ounces times two to get 10 fluid ounces. All right, so you have eight cups, 10 fluid ounces. And then to finish off, just make sure you convert or uh, simplify if needed. So here, this 10 fluid ounces, that is more than one cup. All right, there's eight fluid ounces in one cup. All right, so what we have here is eight fluid ounces for a cup plus two more ounces to get 10 total. So eight fluid ounces we said is one cup. So what we have with the 10 fluid ounces is really one cup plus two fluid ounces. All right, and that's what we see typed up right here. So now we can simplify eight cups plus one cup gives you nine cups. So our answer is we have nine cups and two fluid ounces. Now for, for metric measurements, our example is we have 5.3 milligrams times seven. All right, so this one um, for metrics, usually we just have it with one type of unit. So like not the same as imperial. Imperial, we have four cups and ounces. Whereas for metric, we are not gonna have like grams and milligrams um, separately, we just convert one into the other and put it all as one measurement. All right, so metric is kind of nicer for that reason. And so when you multiply, it's just multiplying 5.3 times 7. All right, so 7 times 3 is 21. Take the 1, carry the 2. 7 times 5 plus 2 is 37. And then there's one digit here after the decimal point. So our decimal point moves over one, one place, and it gives you 37.1. So 5.3 milligrams times seven is 37.1 milligrams. So we've done addition, we've done subtraction, we've done multiplying. Now lastly, we're gonna work with dividing. So dividing first with imperial measurements. Our example is we have 12 tons, 800 pounds, divide by four. Now just like with multiplying, with division, we're going to also divide each unit by whatever number we're dividing by. So here, we're dividing 12 tons by four, that gives you three tons, and then divide 800 pounds by four, 800 divided by four is 200, so we have 200 pounds. So your answer is three tons, 200 pounds. And then for metric measurements, 
Our example here is we have 12.9 centimeters divided by three. All right, so when you divide, okay, make sure you can divide with decimals. So divide by three, uh, three goes into 12 four times. Four times three is 12, subtract, you get zero. And then decimal point here, bring down the nine and repeat. Three goes into nine three times. Three times three is nine, subtract, and we get zero. So your answer when you divide, in this case, is gonna be 4.3 centimeters. So in this lesson, we have learned how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide with both imperial and metric measurements. And that concludes our lesson for today. We will see you next time.